Hi, this is Joel here, and I wanted to give you a quick rundown of my uh, Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. Uh, this is the two-channel head, and as I've mentioned, this head is modified by Jason Moore of Moore Sound. Uh, basically, he did three major mods to the amp. Uh, the first one uh, was in the dirty channel. And uh, mesas are known to be uh, very ballsy and very crunchy, uh, but they're also known to be a bit muddy. So I asked him to take care of the mud. So on the red channel, uh, he put what you could, might consider a, uh, like a crossover, like you know, and you would have on the speaker where you cut the highs to, for the tweeter and the lows for the, the woofer. Well, here he did a little bit of a, I think with a capacitor or something, he put a took a, some of the low end out but left that nice crunchy uh, mids and upper upper uh, lo well lower lower mids that gives you that nice crunch and left that and took out some of the lower mud that was on the red channel and on the green channel I asked him to uh, make it sound like a fender that was my request and I've got so many uh, compliments on the clean channel of this amp now um, as you sh I'll show you here, this, uh, right now I have it on the, the, the clean channel. I've got the, the volume at about 1030 and the gain at about 1030. You can see it's very warm and very clear. I am using a, uh, Les Paul, uh, with EMG pickups and... I asked him to work on that clean channel, and that came out very, very nice, because mesas aren't known for their clean channels. Uh, the third mod he did was um, to, that he, on, on Mesa Boogies, they have what you call a fixed bias. And that means you can only use the Mesa tubes, because they all their tubes come from a Russian factory that are in a certain bias range. So they want you to use their tubes. But Mesa tubes aren't known to be the best, and uh, we, I wanted to have the flexibility using other tubes. So um, that's what he put in here. He put a bias adjuster so you can run the tubes a little cooler, get that brown sound, or you can run them a little hotter and get a little more crunch out of it. Uh, you have that option. And so that's the three mods that he did on this amp. Um, uh, as you, I'll give you a couple of sound samples here. Uh, the amp comes with also the foot switch. Uh, this is quite nice because on the newer uh, three channel heads, they have a MIDI switch, uh, mid, a kind of a noisy MIDI controller on their foot. But this is quite nice. As you can see here, you can hear the click of the, of the foot switch, but in between from the, ch the amp, there's no noise. It just goes from the red channel to the green channel. Uh, so. Here we go. This is the clean channel, and this is a very nice, very warm, and uh, very clear. And uh, now we'll switch it over to the red channel. I've got the gain about uh, 130, and I got the volume only about uh, 10, 10 o'clock or 10:30 here. So switch it over. I like my presence high. The presence a bit high. Bass is at about 10.30. Mids at 10.30. Treble's about 1 o'clock. Very loud. Very clear. As you can see, it's, it's loud and clear, but it's not really distorted. The distortion is pretty high, uh, but it's very clear in that you can hear the sound of the guitar and you can hear each string very well as opposed to a real overdriven uh, distorted guitar which just gets a little bit too fizzy and silly. So it's very nice, loud, crisp and very good for me. That's uh, it's quite a loud amp, and I you gotta you know of course with a tube amp you gotta crank it up to uh, get any kind of good tone out of it. 
So, but it goes much louder than that, and that's only at uh, 10 o'clock or 9.45, 10 o'clock on this volume. And uh, so there you have the, the general tone of the amp. Uh, let's flip this around and show you the back side here. Um, so again, we're going to switch it over to the green channel. Uh, what's quite nice here is uh, on the green channel, you can actually switch it over to, um, you can make it a little bit higher gain, like a kind of a marshally uh, sound here. So we're going to switch that over. And this is still the clean channel, but it's now it's a little bit more driven. Uh, and a lot of guys will have like that as their uh, main 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 channel for their uh, rhythms. And then switch it onto the red channel for lead. That's quite a nice option. You also have a chance to make orange to modern. So this is still the green channel. But switched over uh, from a clean sound to a very overdriven sound. So we're back to the still the green channel, but just using these little uh, switches back here. And then if you switch it over to the red channel, you can put red also to vintage. This is red vintage here as opposed to red modern. There's another option you have within that switching there. Uh, you also here's on the speakers you have a chance to put it either a two uh, eight a 16 ohm 8 ohm or two four ohms uh, this is a quite a nice option you have a slave output where you can uh, have the uh, power another amp so you can get more volume if you wanted uh, this has got the mesas this these mesas have quite nice uh, effects loops and what I have here I, I actually had it on loop off. But now I'm going to switch it on to loop on, and you can see now that I have just a simple uh, digital delay in there. And now, you can see uh, now you can either have the, the effects loop on the orange channel or the red channel or on both. I have it on both now, and there's two adjustments for it too. The level, the send level, and the return, the mix level. That's on the red channel. We'll go to the green channel. And if we turn the effects off... Basically the same tone through the effects loop, which is quite nice because you can tweak it with those two knobs. I'll put it on the red channel. And turn the effect loop on. So very similar, which is very nice because so, a lot of times the loops uh, tend to suck your the tone out of your amps, but this one has a very good one. As you can see here, I've got, uh, there's also a chance to, you can use 6L6 or EL34s. Like I said, right now I'm running uh, JJ, brand new JJ EL34s in here, which I like. Uh, but you can also run 6L6s, which are a little bit more beefy. At the end here, uh, you can have, um, there's a, a chance to use either of these are rectifier tubes here. You can either use the two rectifier tubes. Or there's a switch to put it onto uh, silicone. I had it on silicone there, which is a little bit more uh, chunky. But I'll put it on the red channel here.
then we'll switch it on to give you a little uh, sample of that.